Happy Sunday morning. It's 9.55 a.m. Sunday morning, May 23rd. We started off the morning with a flurry of house cleaning and getting the two guest rooms back to rights for the next round of guests and the uh, bathrooms all cleaned and all of that stuff. So that's all done. I just need to do this morning's dishes, which I haven't done yet, but I'm going to check on social medias first. That's why we're upstairs and do that. I also have to bring the neighbor her mail because they were out of town for a few days and she got a package. And so I've got her package. I need to bring that over there and I need to do the breakfast dishes, but I don't want to right now. So yeah. <laughs> I also want to do some art stuff. I've got a bunch of stuff on the table that Jenny and Brian actually did for me while they were here um, that actually needs a uh, clear coat. Um, so Jenny um, and Brian painted a few rocks for me to leave around the neighborhood. Um, there's this one that Jenny did. And then Brian, he's so cute. He did one that to look like a potato. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know, but that's cute. And then he did one to look like a cat. So that's interesting. And then Jenny put together, I, well, Jenny painted and I put together this little um, Home Depot kit that's like a desktop pencil and paper holder thing. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It was a free craft kit, but all of it needs clear coat. So that's gotta be something that's gotta be done this week. I also have three masks to make for the wedding. Um, so I've got all the fabric over here on the sewing table because that's actually, got to be done pretty quickly too. Um, so those are the top projects that need to be done. Top, top things. Anyway, I'm going to check social media and then I guess I'll go do the dishes. Yeah. We didn't.
9.30 a.m. Monday, May 24th, I think. I almost said March. Um, you know, I woke, it's raining again. I mean, I do live in Oregon, so I landed much water. But I can tell it's spring. I woke up with itchy eyes, which I have. Uh, I went to bed with last night. <laughs> um, a little bit of a headache. Um, I took some medicine, so I don't like to take too much allergy or pain medication because it sometimes messes with my blood pressure medication sometimes. So. You know what? I spent the afternoon working in my art journal and my slow stitching journal. And you know what? Can't say I'm mad about that. It was a nice way to spend some time. I still have a little bit of time before Bob gets off work. And I don't know if I'm going to sit over here and goof off and watch the iPad or sit over here and work on my puzzle. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I might work on the puzzle and goof off on the iPad at the same time. All right. Good morning, yeah. everybody. It's about 10.30 a.m. on Tuesday, May 25th, I think. And it took a little while after massive deadness <laughs> was here and then removed for them to come back. But... Let's see, do you see them back there? Maybe not. I'll turn the camera around. But they're back. I just gave them some corn and put an extra bowl out. I'm so glad they're back. So I'm in Walmart. And fully vaccinated people are no longer required to wear a mask. Plus, I forgot mine in the car. Rather than doing the walk of shame, of shame <laughs> the new walk of shame, I am seeing how nervous I'm going to be about being in here without a mask. Yeah. Let's see if they even have what I need. Out okay. They did have what I needed. Got a cute pair of pants and it's like bluish mint green colored sleeveless like summer dress that was really cute. Um, I need a few new like summery things. Something yeah different in my closet. Anyway it was weird to be in there without a mask on. I did stay well away from everyone. I was only one of like maybe three people that I saw with no mask on. It's weird. And it's not that I don't have a mask in the car. <laughs> so it's odd. Um, after over a year of wearing one everywhere you go, it's yeah. All right, next we're gonna go to Fred Meyer. All right, I'll be back. It is Wednesday, May 26th, 1.30-ish wow, p.m., I think. Um, anyway, I got a bunch of daily drawing done because I'm... Oh, why is this light out here on? Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning, uh, May 27th, I think. And that sound was my windshield wipers because, you know, of course, it's Portland, so it's raining again. Um, and then we're going to have like at least a week of warm, summery-ish weather before we get any more rain. Um, it's supposed to be in the 70s and 80s, so that'd be nice. Um, hopefully it doesn't get so hot we have to turn on the air conditioner because I would prefer not to and to have the windows open instead, so cross your fingers. Anyway, we are in the car, obviously. <laughs> Um, I need to go pick up my wedding videotape that's been converted to digital. Yes, videotape, you know, like these. <laughs> yes, I have more. Um, these are from when Rebecca was little. So I'm going to pick up the first round of tapes and files, and then I'm going to drop off some more uh, videos, and then I've got two more after that. It's going to be a little bit pricey to do, but... In the long run for posterity, I think it's the best choice. So we're going to do that. 
and I have to go deal with the post office because our mailbox is supposedly fixed, but we're not getting mail. So what the hell is wrong with that picture? We have a raccoon friend that he set the cameras off out here three, four times, three times so far. It's in the space of a few minutes. We've ripped all of our front yard plants out, so I'm not sure what he's after. And he's not going very far. He keeps coming back. He's in the woods. We in saw him. <laughs> Holy cow. I still want to know what he's eating out in my yard. It is 11.27 a.m. I'm going to go downstairs and get myself a cup of bone broth. And I got a bunch of sort of internet paperworky things done this morning, um, including some billing issues because we had fraud on one of our credit cards and had to get a new one. And then, you know, there's always those like accounts that you have automatically billed that you forget about until they go to try to bill. And then, yeah, it doesn't work. So yeah, taking care of some of that this morning. Um, scheduled the post for June 1st. The wedding week is coming up, so I'm trying to do a bunch of stuff ahead, including scheduling posts ahead and stuff like that. So um, I'm also going to be doing some daily drawing ahead. Um, make sure the door is closed. Um, and now that I'm thinking about that, I need to get the June journals done. I should say prepped. That's the bone breath that sound. I should I need to get the June first. Um I wonder if I can get that all in the cup. There's not that much in there. Ooh, yes. Okay. Um I need to get the June first um journals prepped. And then I'm gonna do like I don't know the first few days ahead of June because it's the wedding week. Um and there's gonna be Lots of stuff going on. Believe me, as the mother of the bride, I thought, well, it won't be that bad. I'm not getting the one getting married. Ha! That's all I can say. Ha! <laughs> There's a lot going on. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do some drawing ahead. That way I have things to post for you all. Um, yeah. I think I have some laundry to do, and... And, and, and I need to get the grocery list together, working on a to-do list of things that need to be done at the last minute this weekend. We are going to be having a open house brunch thing on the Sunday after the wedding, June 6th, I think. Anyway, so that's going to be a thing. So I need to get a menu together. I need to figure out who's coming. So there's a lot going on. Yes, in case you didn't get that idea. All right. That's it. Let's get our bone broth, go upstairs, get some drawing done, and I will be back. We are out for our evening walk with the kids after dinner, and the pond has water in it again because we got some rain, and the ducks are back. Yeah. I don't think she quite knows what to do with the ducks. She just looks at them like, yeah, and? Happy Saturday morning, guys. So, um, it is um, approaching the wedding week for Rebecca and Polly. It's their wedding celebration week. They've already been legally married, but because of COVID, they couldn't have the big wedding celebration party they both wanted. We're going to be doing that now. Um... There's Polyus, for those that don't know, Polyus is Lithuanian. He was born in Lithuania. And um, there's something about the Lithuanian culture called the fire ceremony. I know nothing about it. I know that Polyus's um, parents, of, uh, I'm not sure if it was a relative or a friend, made this beautiful lotus-shaped um, candle holder, a very large one, and sent it over and it arrived broken. And so I am trying to fix it because mom is crafty. Becca's mom is crafty. So, so we're trying to fix it. And um, yeah, I'm propping it up with tinfoil and masking tape. And I'll show you. Hang on. 
So this is the Lotus, if I can gently, let's see, parts that are already fixed or glued. That's what it looks like on the underneath. But yeah, it's broken. I've got some here that are taped that aren't glued yet because that way I can know kind of where they go. I did a few of the petals last night. I have to do a few at a time because of the way the Lotus is shaped and everything. We also have the rest of the landscaping going in today, I think. Um, family friends slash one of the adopted kids, Brian, husband of Jenny, is coming by today. And um, he's picking up the rest of their stuff that's here. And I think at the kids' house, um, um, <laughs> there's other stuff going on today. It looks like I'm breaking out the dressmaking bridal sewing skills this week because there's at least two dresses that need altering. My daughter doesn't know about both of them. One of them just needs a hem. The other one might need major stuff. Um, and then I'm not sure about adopted daughter Jenny's dress. Oh boy, there are camera issues. Um, so yeah, it is going to be a busy week. So I will film what I can for next week's vlog and you are just going to have to stay tuned. So as previously stated, our gardener has had problems with his truck and because of that, he is delayed a day. So he will be by tomorrow to hopefully finish the front yard. So you don't get to see it until next week's vlog. Sorry. But bonus, same week as the wedding. So, you know, um, I got... Decently far, not super far, decently far, this puzzle. I have to stop every now and then because my neck starts to hurt. Although I will admit I'm tempted to just keep going because that's who I am until it's finished. I may put a couple more pieces in and then after that I'm going to take a break. But thousand piece puzzle, all sugar skulls, and it is a difficult one. It is this one, so yeah. Anyway, keeps your mind off of all the stuff that makes you crazy, though. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Hey guys, so I forgot to close the vlog again last night. I think that's the second week in a row that I've done that. <laughs> uh, that just means things are hectic. Anyway. Um, it's been an interesting week. You'll get a little bit of bonus footage here. And this morning I finished repairing the fire uh, ceremony lotus thing for the kids. And I've got a couple of scraps of fabric in the right colors. I'm gonna need to be doing some last minute bridal alterations for the wedding. So I need to go get make sure I have the right thread colors. And to be honest, I wanted to make sure I remembered how to properly do a rolled hem on this like sheer chiffon. Um, I was pretty sure the needle that was in the machine was way too big because usually I just do more mixed media handbag kind of stuff. And yeah, it was because look what it did to the material. Can you see that? Yeah. It's, so I switched to a number nine ballpoint and yep, perfect. I did remember. <laughs> it took a minute, but I remembered. Um... So anyway, yeah, it's kind of a busy, crazy, hectic day. We've got to go pick up some more stuff that we didn't get yesterday. And the gardener is supposed to finally be by today and all of that stuff. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope you all have had a great week, that you're having a great beginning of your summer, and that... Um, Sorry, I'm getting messages from my sister <laughs> that you're having a great beginning of your summer. It just, it seems for us that no matter what's going on in the world and in life, summer is always hectic every single year, no matter the decade, no matter, co it's not a COVID thing. It's just a Bob and Gina thing. And so this year's shaping up to not be any different. So we're going to take our peaceful moments where we can. I need to try to finish the sugar skull puzzle today so I can get it off the table uh, I need to go, like I said, pick up this thread. I need to um, work on some more daily drawings in advance. I've got video to edit. I've got like lots of stuff to do. So it's going to be a busy Sunday, but it's all good. Anyway, I hope you've had a great week. 
Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that uh, bell icon if you want notifi notifications of upcoming videos. I do have some art videos, not just vlog videos, on the SD card in the camera, um, which is, can you see it from here? I don't think you can see it from here because it's like over there, um, on the table. Uh, and my class that I'm teaching with Bea Grob and a bunch of other students is coming up June 1st really quickly. You can still get a seat, so use the link in the description below to sign up today. Um, there's some good deals going on in the Etsy shop right now, too, because I'm trying to lower uh, shop inventory. And I've got bundles of things together, including stamps, brand new stamps and stencils. Uh, so look for that. And uh, yeah, just check out the video description if you want to follow me on Instagram or anything like that. You, use my link tree list of links because all that stuff is in there. All right, that's it. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.